So the second one, integral 0 to 5 x plus 1 dx. So what we will do here, we will write f of x, f of x equal to the function x plus 1. We will write a, a is the lower limit which here is 0. b is the upper limit which here is 5. And find the value of nh. nh, what is the formula? It is b minus a, that is 5 minus 0 which gives you the value 5. Again, what we have to do, we have to find f of a. f of a is, a is 0. So, what we have to do is find f of 0. f of 0 is, f of x is x plus 1. So, f of 0 will be 0 plus 1, which is 1. Then, find f of a plus h. What is f of a plus h? a is 0. So, what we are getting is, f of 0 plus h. f of 0 plus h is h. What is f of x? f of x is x plus 1. So, what is f of h? f of h is h plus 1. Okay, then find f of a plus 2h. Here also a is 0. That will be equal to f of 2h. What is f of x? f of x is x plus 1. So f of 2h will be 2h plus 1, etc. And we are going to find the last term. That is the nth term. a plus n minus 1 into h. Here also a is 0. So what we get is f of n minus 1 into h. What is f of x? f of x is x plus 1. So, f of n minus 1 into h will be n minus 1 into h plus 1. Again, write the formula. Integral 0 to 5. f of x dx. That is, f x plus 1 dx equal to limit. h tends to 0. h into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h plus etc. plus f of a plus n minus 1 into h. And there are n terms inside the bracket. Substitute the values. Limit h tends to 0. What is f of a? h into f of a is 1. 1 plus f of a plus h is h plus 1. Plus the next term is 2h plus 1. Though we didn't write the next term, we can write easily. Why? Because this is h plus 1, the second term. Third term we wrote as 2h plus 1. So quite natural that the next term will be 3h plus 1 plus etc. This is the next term and the nth term will be n minus 1 into h plus 1. We already got that value. Okay. There are n terms altogether. In all the term 1 is there. So 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4 etc. How many times we have to add 1 n times. So what we get n 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus etc. n times gives you the value n. So 1 plus 1 plus etc. n times. And what all are the balance? H is there in the next second term. 2H is there. 3H is there. And here N minus 1H is there. What is common? H is common. Okay. And what is the balance? 1 plus here the balance is 2 plus here it is 3 plus etc. And in the last term it is N minus 1. That is equal to limit H tends to 0 h into, we already told that 1 plus 1 plus 1 etc. n is n times is n plus h into, here again the sum to special series, so that sum of n minus 1 terms of special series and the formula we already told that n minus 1 into n by 2. Again what we will do, we will give h to the bracket, so limit h tends to 0, first term is nh plus, in the next case what we will do, we will take n and h together. So, nh into, there is an h from outside, where, where we will multiply this h, we will multiply this h to the term n minus 1. So, what we get is nh minus h, only to substitute the value, nothing else. Okay, again substitute the value, limit h tends to 0, we already calculated the value of nh as 5. So, 5 plus 5 into 5 minus h by 2. Apply the limit. That means wherever h is there, substitute the value as 0. So first term is 5 itself. Second term is 5 into 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0 is 5 itself by 2. So what we get 5 plus 25 by 2. When taking the LCM, what we get is 35 by 2. So the answer is 35 by 2. Did you notice this is an in value number? Okay, real number. That is why we are naming this as definite integral. We will be getting a definite value when an upper limit and lower limit is given to the function. After integrating, after the integral, the final value will be a number. Okay, it can be a number or a constant. In the previous case, 
first question we got the value as b square minus a square by 2 but it's a definite value we are not getting as a function 